Sam, what are you doing here? Oh, you must be beat, buddy. Coming all this way just to say hi? Uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. Uh, Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> but as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Dilster, was looking for you, dude. Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Oh. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's, uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. There we go, quest complete. Nice. Your relationship with Barrett has changed. You think my mom knew about me and Claire? And the baby? I'm happy we were able to meet you. Almost feels like this little one brought us together. Cool, let's see more of this little outpost crow's nest. All those willing to fight against Shinra's tyranny Man, are you mid are nest. something else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. Arenas. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the Grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the Cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was like, forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. Do him a solid. Yo, you're the best! You know, I just knew I could count on you. So, you gonna help or... Me? You can sniff out trouble. <laughs> I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. Okay. There we go. I get that we're brand new to the CAI. There's some I'm music like thing with an exclamation mark here. Does that mean there's a piano there? Maybe we get our first sheet music or something. Yeah, okay. Who is this dude? 
la 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 Okay. Curious about this old clavier. I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. I really like this guy's voice acting. It sounds sounds familiar. I don't know who, who maybe. Obtain sheet music found at pianos around the world and add these scores to your repertoire. If you achieve an A rank in performance, speak with... Oh, he'll reward you. Flip. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of the world. How may I be of service to you? I see. Okay. So, let's have a look. This is what I was curious about. Like, can someone who's completely not musical like me still have any chance of getting it? Getting an A grade? Probably not. Select the piece you like to perform. When performing a piece, tilt in the time of the notes drifting out from the center to play both the melody and the accompanying chords. Virtuoso pianists can increase the note scroll speed for an even greater challenge. So, on our way, note count 148. So, yeah, they've turned into more of a mini game here. For me, the problem was selecting an individual note. I've not been able to do that. Like it's in. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> It's very fun when you catch like a few notes together and you're like, oh my god, that actually sounds like something I recognize. I feel like I could completely ignore the one on the left. Ugh, that's really tough. It's not something I'm used to doing at all. So, yeah, that's a C rank. Bloody hell. Okay. I will give it a few more goes. This, is, As you can see, this is most definitely not my thing. But I will give it a few more goes and see what I can do. I think obviously it's just something I'm so not used to. That I'll start to get the hang of it, I think. Surely I can at least get a B.
That bit's so hard. was that bad you know that was a decent effort there you go that's a b i'm not pushing any further than that that was literally two turns so clearly even for someone who can't play music at all and that sucks with this stuff you can definitely get an a grade if you spend some time on it so that wasn't too bad okay i think i'm, I'm done for now uh it, i guess this is the kind of thing you can basically do all of them together uh at one point like if you really want to get all of the the a's so that's fine at least uh, I saved a little bit of face. I mean, a B grade second time round, I think, is is acceptable. Right. Where's the best spot to put up a post? Do you think? Well, a few people have certainly tried. So, what else do they have? I have a friend in our really lucky. Talk about a love story for the ages. She got Dylan here, didn't she? Maybe Toby could be your Dylan. The same Toby who was making. Love the gossip. Right. Barrett has 15, obviously. He got the extra thing. Does he get more HP? Nope. Um, yeah, an ice attack with a guaranteed hit seems quite nice. Right, not going to do anything else. I think we'll do it when we get at least 10 points at a time. Definitely worth a rest. It's been a fun start to this bit. I would say so far it's been it's been more fun than the the grasslands overall. I think with the with the questing, but we have kind of front loaded it a little bit by doing the more like core side quests first. So I think that's definitely helping. No, yeah. Nice. I do think. Personally, at this point, they probably made the grasslands a bit too much for so early in the game. Uh, I'm genuinely surprised they had that much to do. Obviously, you have the choice of not doing all of them, but it's, I don't know, still, I feel like maybe it's a bit too much. But that's the question. So, like, do I regret doing that much? Not really. I wouldn't say I do. I feel like most of it, I just did it because it popped up and I, I wanted to do, to do it, as opposed to feeling like I had to complete a checkbox kind of thing. So, I don't know. Who among you is a worthy opponent? Ah, I see. Okay. And I mean, yeah, I, I could have also played the extra Queen's Blood games. Like, there was still plenty of stuff I could have done as well that I haven't done yet, so... I think given that, I tried to balance it as best I could. Right. So, what are we doing now? There's another notice board here. I didn't notice that. Hmm. Our beloved Condor has not graced the skies above Junon in quite some time. We worry for her welfare and wish to hire someone to prefer a culinary feast. Right, so again, we have some quests on the go, um, but in here at least we're done. I'm going to leave the Chadley stuff for later, I think, again. I'm going to focus mostly on the quests. So this one, Condor Watching Society. Wow, all the way out here, flipping out. Okay, um, I think, again, we'll go kind of tower by tower. 
And so I'll probably begin like here. Yeah, they're closer to each other this time. So I think it should be fine. Um. We'll keep this team for a little longer, then we'll change it. We'll put Barrett and Tifa in. What I want to check quickly is that this weapon seems to have that like kind of blade thing that it fires, but it never did it mention anything about this. Like it doesn't say anything about it. I was trying to understand like how was I doing that? Like it fires the kind of beam things. They look really cool, but I'm just like, but how? I guess that's like a special... I don't know if they could all do it or some material that I have that's causing me to be able to do that. I don't know. It's a bit odd. I can't really tell when he does it. It's like just by being at a distance and pressing square doesn't make him fire the beams, but then sometimes he does. So it's something I'm trying to understand a bit better. I don't think I saw anything. Get him! Try this one. Calling ice. Let's do it again. Keep it together. You ready? I'll show you what I can do. You'll see. Get him. We'll see if this blizzard can hit. Up. You okay? There you go. Definitely go hit. My turn. That's it. That's it. Got the pressure. We'll just fire one of those anyway. In need of my ear. Yeah, we got the Moogle bit as well soon. This might be a nice view, actually. Yeah, they're wanting to go all the way. In general, the whole, like, shipwreck, shipyard aesthetics were good. go here and activate the next one. We'll already have the chocobo with us here. I think this is just, it's so simple, but it's a its a small touch of genius, this whole like just landing with the chocobo thing. Very smart. Like beginning the fast travel with it already. Oh, power. Very clever. Maybe before it flies, we might get a chance. Ah, I thought that blizzard was going to pressure it. Rip. I'll take care of them. That's it. Yahoo! 
see if we can get that to land. Feeling chilly? Too much? Yep. You've got this. I got this. Yeah, so again, can we... Is it in Punisher mode only? No. It's not in Punisher mode either. Take the lead. Ready when you are. Oh, okay, I thought it was like a 360. That one is. It's got some good moves. But yeah, thunder helps knock it out of the sky a bit more easily. Always better for the quick boys. I do like that. Again, it's, it's quite a subtle mechanic that I think is very nice. The fact that some spells are better at hitting enemies than others, I think it's clever. So if you have a really zippy enemy, uh, you're better off using lightning. Even if it's weak to ice, sometimes it's like if you can't hit it, then there's no point. But yeah, I do wish they implemented the enemy skill material a bit differently. It's like not everything has to be tied to Chadley and the VR missions and all that crap. Why can't they just keep it the same way? Just keep it equipped and if you get hit by it, then you get the ability. Maybe they thought it would be too OP. I don't know. Yeah, the Moogle mushroom is right there. You can see it just goes on. But yeah, I think after I do um, the next set of exploration stuff, I will go to Chadley and see what summon there is available to fight. This time I will do this. Let's go up the hill for the first time. That's super cool. Although I think this is not where the owl flew, so I kind of didn't need to come here at this stage, I think. But now that I've done that, I guess let's just continue on. Ah. This is not the right place. Can't tell. Hmm. Okay, let's activate this one first. But this one, I mean, you're never too far away from some kind of point of interest or activity or something that you want to discover. It's like this way, I see the glowing thing. Uh, this way, there's somewhere for the chocobo to go. Take me up. Junon is home to the summon ah. entity Phoenix. Though a freak is often associated with fire, Phoenix's flames are no less potent. In fact, the conflagrations of this undying bird are said to imbue those it touches with renewed life. Perhaps it will offer you its grace. Yeah, that's cool. Can I, like, go past these guys? I fought a lot of them already. Yeah. Nice. Again, gonna go into a mode of like avoiding random encounters, just do the, the ones that are mandatory as part of quests. Or that are blocking the way to a point of interest. There you go. I think since you have the option to fight the stronger versions too, I can just fight the strongest version first and then just see how I go. Because we have had some relatively easy battles. Alright, let's see if it gets much more complicated now. The Titan one they made very easy for us.
close enough. For a second, it like was a red ring. I thought, oh shit, I failed. Oh, almost up to party level four. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Yep, you know what I'm going to say. I think if it were me, like, okay, if you really have to have him say that line, I would just have it be like a, um, he can just say it as you're walking, like the same way that he started giving us the, the lore about Phoenix. Like, it doesn't need to be like you whip out the kind of machine thing he has in his hand, whatever that was called, and then you see his face and he tells you, it's like, we did all of this for Titan anyway, so it's just not needed. Um... Yeah, I won't actually head back here. Let's do the Moogle thing. Um, it's... Is, was it like right here? Or was it up? I forget exactly how to get there. Yeah, I think it's tower first and it was like close to the tower. All right. I guess we have to complete the mini game again first. Anyone care to meet with a Moogle? Me. Please bring back all the Mooglets for me, Koopo. Okay, let's see what we can do. Just need to plug my phone in to get charged. Um, okay. Where's the actual... Hmm. Molulu. Lure the Moogle into a whirlwind. Interesting. Okay. Try. ran past it. You've got to be accurate now. Come on, man. You little shit. This is not good. Okay. It's number one. Oh, if I lure them into a whirlwind, I think I can catch them. So they're adding something a little bit different for this one. Ah. I've got just... I was going to say, I've got just enough time. There we go. Uh, those two are together. Moki is by themselves. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, in the last, uh, the, well, the first one, I was wondering, how do you actually catch them? And I don't think, did they have whirlwinds in the first one? Maybe they did and I didn't notice, but... Anyway. Doing all right. These two could be a problem. But we can take three hits, I'm hoping. Ooh. Has more range than I thought. Um. What? No huh? Oh. Okay. Let's we'll try and push them both in. Hurry it up. Gonna try again. Alright. Might be able to salvage this still. Right. 
just have to avoid getting hit by this. To one of these. Okay, just about. Got hit twice, but managed to do it. There we go. Some more data points, got some more party experience, and let's see what we can get now. Welcome, Koopo. Got the level two stuff now. Ah, nice. I've got 16, so I can get both of them. Sweet. Excellent. Sure. I don't think I'd need these that much. Well, to be fair, yeah, they are pretty good. I will try and get these later. Feel free to drop by any time. 